and gentlemen, what is going on? Fly here. Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we have La Top Lachi 007, who says Ferdinand and Emmy 262 with the 50 Mike Mike. Now, in my past, in, in War Thunder, I kind of despise the Ferdinand. But I think I was the bad in the tank. It's actually a pretty decent tank destroyer in the game and a very, very good sniper. It has an amazing scope to allow you to see across the map and make your rounds as accurate as possible. But how you play this tank is that you slowly move to your position, you find a nice whole position, and then you wait. You wait, you wait, you wait. And you wait some more and you wait some more until a tank comes across your field of vision, then you blast him with the one shot. And the reason why you need to be hold down in the Ferdinand is because it has some really good armor on top. We have 200 millimeters of effective thickness or 208, but only a hundred down here. Now sure this one sloped a little bit so some rounds can bounce, but if you let this um, piece of armor show, you're gonna get set on fire very quickly because look at here, fuel tanks, fuel tanks. Well, that's a radio station. Uh, fuel tanks, look at that optic though. That might be one of the most OP optics in the game. But up here again, 200 millimeters. However, this combo is a little kick in the ass because we're gonna be using a 6.7 jet. So that will bring us up to 6.7 battle rating tanks, which means that we're gonna be versing potentially these guys, which, they're, they're pretty strong. They got a, uh, yeah. They don't give a shit about 200 millimeters of effective thickness, thickness. But we'll have to wait and see how it goes. Now for the 262 today, we're gonna be using the armored shot, just the armored target, not this one. I don't want this one because it penetrates too much from our angle of attack to where um, it won't shrapnel a lot. There's not enough friction or force against the round. Um, but this one is perfect. We have 97 millimeters at 10 meters. So once it enters the tank, there's gonna be some force to rip apart the shell, shrapnel, and hopefully kill some crew. But guys, in the comments below, let me know what you guys wanna see next. Let's get started. Welcome to the fields of Normandy. As you can see, we have full ammo loaded out. That's just because I wanna see how easily this thing can get ammo racked from the front if we don't hide the hole. Uh, this is for science and also i like a lot of ammo in my tank because i miss a lot and i kill a lot that's well the first one's true the second one's not but also i want to show you as in the intro the fucking zoom on this thing now i don't really play german tigers that much um, so i don't know if it's on the tiger or the normal 88 millimeter but let's see if we can't peek over this hill with some decent depression as you can see we can shoot right now and our hole is hidden beautiful Left side. Turn up, turn up. Beautiful shot. And I don't know if you just saw right there, but look at that damn zoom. You can see all across the map with this. Oh, okay, another tango over there. It allows you to really sit back and be a true sniper in the game. And unfortunately, um, it's hard to make a YouTube video entertaining while you're sitting back. So I might play it kind of incorrectly because I want to keep you guys entertained while I play today. Um, just because if I had it my way, you know, and if, and if I was playing my way, right side, right side on the tiger. Come on, let's traverse. If only this thing had like better neutral steering, we're gonna go protect him on the right side. Uh, let me finish my thought though. Oh uh, yeah, I, I would be sitting in the back and camping. What is this? We got a friendly tiger here. I don't know where these shots are coming from. Can't be an American tank because we have Americans on our team. Unless he was right fucking... I don't see it. I don't see where those shots are coming from, but I believe the tiger over there, who's dead now, unfortunately, killed a T-44. But let's just stay here and lock it down. He might be popping back up. No, he's right here. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I see his little hole right there. Is this possible? Do you think? Wait, hang on. No, no, no. Come on. Don't be doing that. Did he just get... Okay, no, no, no. We're fine. There we go. Beautiful. I really like the Ferdinand. The reverse speed, the depression, the armor. Now, again, we are playing at 6.7. So if we get penetrated with a heat round, I'm not too concerned. That's just the uh, nature of the combo. 
But yeah, not a bad tank. A lot of people give it a lot of shit, but overall, if, if you play it like it's supposed to be played, it's pretty good. Now the next step is to push towards A. And as you can see, A is a very long ways away. Let's check score. They still have a considerable amount of tanks left, but I'm feeling confident that my left side is going to be protected by the tanks going to their spawn. Now let's see this thing's top speed. Not bad. Enemy anti-air close. Should have brought some HE rounds, but no, he's dead already. Holy shit. Sayonara. <laughs> All right, almost at A. Taking out some tanks while we get there. SU, another guy over here. God, that reload rate is phenomenal. I can't really see, but I saw his silhouette. Beautiful hit on him. He's still pulling back. I wish I had machine gun to test. We're gonna fire at the same location because we set him on fire and did some other things. There we go, T-34-85 down, still pushing to A. All right, good clean right there. This tank is, I don't know if I personally neglected it, but you guys gotta check this tank out again, man. I said before, if you play it kind of right, that reload rate, the depression, good tank. Whoa, enemy tank, enemy tank. Dead. And well, guys, that's going to be it. We're going to hop into another game here. Hopefully uh, utilize the combo, uh, the Ferdy and the 262. Welcome to Eastern Europe. I think you guys know what we're going to do right now. We're going to the sniper point with the sniper tank. And guess what? We're going to snipe some things, but we might not make it there. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Don't get carried away here. We can kill him later. Okay, let's start turning to engage. Woo-wee! That was a good shot. Now, they might be pushing right here. Oh, we just missed one. Now, hopefully the IS-2 will follow. Three, two, one. Damn it. He's fucking staying there, I believe. So this spot right here is a perfect spot for any tanks that need to be holed down or tank destroyers. However, as you can see, not much is really going on, but I'm hoping as the game develops, we don't really have that many uh, tanks in B, they'll start to push through carelessly and we'll be able to shoot them. But uh, tank or case tank destroyer gameplay, you sit and wait. Oh, look, somebody, guys, look at this. What's up, bitch? All right, Tango down. We got our first kill. Unfortunately, we take a little bit longer on the shot and we got our buddy killed in uh, C or, yeah, in B, but hang on. Okay, yep. Well, ooh, hang on, somebody else? What is this? Let's see, turret? Is that a turret right there? Uh, I don't know what this thing is. Okay, ricochet off a of Hellcat, no fucking problem at all. I couldn't tell what it... You're not gonna do that, are you? Okay, super Hellcat dead. Don't mess with Ferdinand, comrade. Wait, this is a German tank. Don't mess with Ferdinand. <laughs> oh my gosh, just sit and wait. Sit and fuck your wait. That's all you gotta do with this thing, dude. Beautiful, three nice kills right there. Best spot in the map, best spot. All right, I'm gonna go do some um, taxes. I'll be back in a little bit for some more kills. <laughs> Jesus. Now I'm gonna bet $9 that I'm gonna get bombed here. But you know, that's the cost of doing business with sniping, dude. People don't like snipers. They're like, oh yeah, you're gonna snipe me from there? I'm gonna come back and bomb your ass. And a friendly just called out a position. He should be around here. I believe that's where the call out was. Okay, he's capturing B now, whatever it is. I hope some of them get careless and just travel right up the center, dude. Ooh, I think our tire's getting hit from where though? We might be able to pop out with our depression and get a shot. Okay, T-34 is down by the Doe 217. I, maybe that was a guy engaged in the Tiger. Okay, hang on. We're gonna we're gonna push out a little bit here for him. But not too much. We don't want to overexpose ourselves. I think I see an enemy long range. Okay, yep, 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 yep. I got one in sight to the right, right? No, I don't see him anymore. We're gonna blind shot, blind shot, blind shoot. 
shit. No point out. I can see his muzzle flash, but I can't make out the tank. I see something moving right there, though. Fuck. We're going to wait for this. Sorry, Tiger. Now, the problem with my spot right now is that I'm completely exposed to the left side of the map. Tank. Poor shot. We got a comment over here. Let's see. Let's see if we can't readjust to get a second shot on him. Oh, he's stationary. Okay. Well, see you later. Fucking hell, he moved in the smoke. <laughs> okay, but where is he though? Like, I can't fucking see him. Think he's right over here? Okay, another fire. Don't get bombed, don't get bombed. Our reload's really slow for some reason. Okay, Tango down. Took a little long on that Comet. Two poor shots by me. Whoa. Someone just shot me and he was high by a mile. I'm, he might pop out, but I think he's gonna pop out to the left so our Traverse can go left and right. There goes the the HE-219er spotting him for me. I think he's going left. Now, there was an M41 that killed that tiger, and it concerns me that he's pushing to my right side. Oh my god, wow. Talk about fucking... That was, that's really strange. Okay, he's gonna fire again here. We're dead. Hopefully we can bounce these shots here. We might have some teammates. Oh, wow. Okay. That's, that's some good spidey sense, though. If I would have acted on that spidey sense, we might have been able to kill that M41. Now, the M46 got us right there, but luckily now we have the ME262. So we're going to take out the armored target belts. We can still win this game. I still have other tanks I can spawn into, but we need to make shit happen quick. Ooh. And they're capturing C. Goddamn. I mean, sure, we have a lot of air power right now, but in War Thunder, air power can't cap. Tango here. Got him down. Pull it off. Good kill. M46 should be over there. I spot him. Quick engagement. Let's turn around. Break some flaps off. We gotta get boots on the fucking ground. Okay, engaging turret. Pulling off. I think we got. We think we set a fire. Yep. Fire set. Oh, we need boots on the ground. God dang it! I see. I want to. I want to stay in this because this is really fun to use. But to win the game, I need to get in a panther or something. Okay. Enemy kill assist. We got one enemy over here. Spotted him. Can't see him anymore though. We got too much smoke. Pulling off. Good air power though. Really good air power. Critical hit. Good. We're capturing C. Maybe I should stay in the air. I don't know. Where, where is he? There he is. Oh, you little smart guy. Nah, we couldn't get him right there. God, he's sneaky. Capture. Ooh, this Oswin's going fucking ham. Look at him. Oh, gosh. Hang on. Enemy plane, I think. It's a Spitfire. Look at that. Look how fast you are. Somebody cover me. No, not like this. No, you're too good for your own good. <laughs> it was a good game, but not good enough. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Unfortunately, we did not utilize our 30 cents when we had it active. If I would have just listened to my gut, turned the tank to the right, we would have been able to kill that M41, and then we would have been able to kill the M46. 
And this game might have turned out very differently, but we'll learn from our mistakes. If I feel that gut feeling, we're going to go with it. But guys, in the comments below, let me know what you want to see next. All right, guys, have a great day. Peace out.